This is the Umbrella Sauvignon Blanc from Villa Timasuli in Romania. Yes, a, another white wine or another wine from Creme Ricasse in Romania, our absolute favourites. Founded by Englishman Philip Cox and a few other English families, his wife Elvira from Romania uh, got together in 1988, founded uh, this winery in Romania and now are a massive international operation. I mean, they export to everyone everywhere massive deal big guys i mean this is without shadow of a doubt our best selling wine you know mm -hmm. as a as a sauv blanc people thinking you know marlborough you know new zealand even you know france this is a this is a great sauvignon it is great and these guys do international varieties really really well so when i say international varieties you know those famous ones your sauvignon your chardonnay your pinot noir your merlot why do they do it really well? Well, Romania, funnily enough, as a country, has got a very, very sim similar climate and landscape to, to central France. You know, it's, uh, it's fairly landlocked. There's no coastal vineyards here. It's, it's all inland. Uh, similar sort of level from the equator as France. It can replicate all of those conditions. What it has, which say France doesn't, and even New Zealand doesn't, is the complete landlocked nature of it. There are no vineyards near the sea. What does that mean? Well, it means consistency because being near the sea is where weather is changeable. So you might get a storm come in, weird wet weather. And so these guys can replicate the conditions that our favorite international varieties like Sauvignon Blanc enjoy, but without the, the risk of things going wrong because of a bit of a weather change. And it's those weather changes that drive up the prices of things like Bordeaux, which can often be Sauvignon Blanc or New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc. I mean, like you know, when, I, when I'm drinking this, it's got all those characteristics that people who you know love a Marlborough Sauv will enjoy. You know, the, the kind of racy, kind of nice high acid. But there's like a real Moorishness. I, I, I want to drink more of it. Like what, what's going on there? Yeah, so that's all about balance between acidity and sugar. Now we might think, hang on a minute, sugar? This isn't a sweet wine, is it? Nope, not at all. This is bone dry. So as dry as you get, just like your favourite Sauvignon Blanc. But what this wine does fantastically, and it's what the New Zealanders do really, really well, because they've got plenty of sunshine to ripen up those grapes. When they're ripened, this acidity comes down a touch, down a touch, but they still maintain it, and the sugar level in that grape goes up. And it's just enough to take the edge off the acidity, so that it's not like you're dipping soda and lime all night, mm. and, and just add a little bit of sugar, and it's the sugar that is the Moorish nature. It's not making the wine sweet, is making you want to come back for more and more. Uh, yeah, definitely, definitely, very, very Moorish. Would would you know keep keep sipping this? Keep sipping. I mean, it's a great wine with with something like a cheese. It's it's in our new uh, mm -hmm. cheese kit this year. Um, but but what else? You know, what what would you be reaching for this bottle for? Yep. So Sauvignon Blanc is great with milder cheeses. Cheese is is cheese. Blah, 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 blah. All cheese is high in acid, uh, and so this is really nice pairing, just like this white wine is. Um, but alternatively, the front to that salads vegetable dishes, that sort of thing. It's really good with goat's cheese, which I know isn't in our kit, but you know, if you're having something with goat's cheese, it's a really nice pairing. Yeah, and I mean, one of the things with, with cheese, just to, to talk about that for a second, it's, it's quite salty, isn't it? You know, mm -hmm. cheese naturally. So like, this is a good wine for, for, for salt. Like Whether you're having the cheese kit or the charcuterie kit, you know, that salty nature, is gonna actually reduce the impact of the acid on your tongue, increase the fruity flavors, and that's why Something as simple as a bowl of salted popcorn or, or salted crisps with something like a Sauvignon Blanc is going to get rid of that high acid nature and bring through like the tropical fruits and all the stuff we love. I mean, look, I can see why this is our best seller. It, it's a fantastic sauve, so uh, cheers. cheers.